Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create table in your class extension from scratch without using any kind of shortcut or code snippet. So let's do it. First choose your table object folder, right click and choose new file, give a name to your AL file. In my case, I am going to create a class table with 50100 ID. So I write 50100 ID first, then name of the table, then dot, then I am creating a table. So write table and then the file extension. Then that is dot al. Hit enter. This is the al file where I am going to create our first table. So first table is classes. So I'm just copying it so it will give a brief idea what I am going to create so I am going to create a table called classes so this is the name of my table I just copied it just comment it so it will not give an error so to create a table from scratch first you have to write text called table then the ID for your table object 50100 in my case and then the table name after this the table is scope in which we are going to define all the fields and the properties for this table so this is just table structure this is just a just a scope of the classes table now i am going to uh, set some property for this table to look into all the properties of table you can use a keyboard shortcut control plus space it will give all the properties of the table. This will also work whenever you are setting the field properties and when you in a field property scope, then you can hit control space then you can see the properties of any field in that particular scope. So the basic property that I want to set for this table is data classification. Data classification is just um, giving some information related to the content that i am going to use in this table this actually giving us an information what kind of information or record we are going to store in this table is it related to customer or account or any end user it can be anything but in my case i am setting it to to be classified means the definition for this a specification this table is yet not given any kind of classification so I will do it later on. So right now I use one property. Another property I want to use that is caption. So I am setting a caption for my classes table. Uh, this is class. Another caption I want to give that is description. It's just a description for this table. A class table that contains information of all classes all classes okay so as you can see uh, we created a table we set some property of the table but still there is some error the error says a table must have at least one normal field means whenever you create a table your table should or must contain at least one field in it so let's create a field to create field first choose fields give it a scope and in this scope again you can see there is error it saying same thing one normal field at least so again to create field under fields use field method then give a number our first column is id so i am giving id here and I'm choosing a data type for this is in teaser. Now data classification again to be classified. I'm going to copy it because I'm going to use it again and again. And one more thing I want to give a set to this field is auto increment. Auto increment is what? Whenever a record is inserted in this table, the next record is the number incremented by one actually by default 
So when I am going to insert first record in this table, the ID will be one. Again, when I try to insert another record, next time ID will be two. So this is just kind of auto incremented every time whenever you are inserting a record in a table. So the other another field is name it is text type i am taking 100 length then again data classification to be classified another field for my table is active so i am choosing it a boolean field it can be true or false another field is mode this is an option type field so i will give some options let's skip some options in it set option member equal to first option is blank for this second is live third is on demand so it is giving me errors so just include it in this give a caption to these options so blank then live then on demand done data classification and the last field is p it's a type of decimal decimal data classification tool okay so all of our field are created now so this is the table now if i am not choosing any field as a primary key every table will consider first field as a primary key in that case whenever you are not set any primary key in your table what this mean means whenever you create a table in a business central or any previous version always by default first field of that table is play as a primary key but whenever you define any primary key for your table then it doesn't matter what is the number of that field but it is defined so that will work as a primary key so in our case id is the primary key but in some scenario we must have to provide some keys if you want to do that then you can add another section for keys here to do that write keys first give a scope then key and give a name to your key this is my primary key so i write pk and then fill that i am going to choose as a primary key here in this key i have different properties also so we can set these properties here so i will choose most important that is cluster i will make it to true what cluster does whenever you do cluster so it will create an index by default in a database table to optimize the result whenever user trying to get or filter or retrieve the records from the table so this is the structure this is how you can define keys if you want to use any trigger for a table then you can write trigger and then again by pressing control plus space you can see all the list of triggers available for a table here we have four triggers by default for a table that is first trigger is trigger on insert give a scope to it begin end another trigger is trigger on modify begin end another trigger is on delete begin end another trigger is on rename so these are the triggers that we can set and write some code in your table 
and last if you want to declare some global variables you can do this by writing just var and here i can create my global variable so this is my global variable this is so simple this is the basic structure that you can also follow while creating a table from scratch so at least you should aware of this structure whenever you are doing any kind of development in any kind of programming language the knowledge of basic structure is very important that's it for this video in upcoming videos i will mm, talk more about tables and uh, will create all these tables that is here so do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this thank you for watching